Today, we are talking about the DJI Ronin SC gimbal, specifically balancing it in sleep mode and all of that junk because I know a lot of people who have run into issues of their gimbal not being very good balanced and stuff like that. I've had people who it worked perfectly for. I am one of those people who did it did not want to balance and it did not want to stay on for me. Scoured the internet. I looked all over the place and I've only seen people either A, making a video saying, oh, my gimbal has a problem and they don't address the problem and they either don't figure it out or they don't tell you how they figured it out. Why your gimbal, specifically Ronin SC, keeps going into sleep mode even though you're thinking you're balancing it correctly. After three days, four f***s, five f***s, and two f***s, and five I finally figured out what was wrong with it. And it had nothing to do with how I was balancing it or anything like that. So if you've been through the whole thing and you balanced it and you watched all the videos, you're professional at balancing it and it looks balanced and as soon as you turn it on, it turns sideways or you turn it on, it stays good and it beeps and it goes into sleep mode, then this video is for you. You're probably not gonna like the answer to your problem because it doesn't include money. But it's really the only way to fix it if you have this problem. You could have a blown motor or two. I had two blown motors in my gimbal. If you have a blown motor, it's not gonna work because it's broken and it's going to cost money to fix it unless it's under warranty. So if you have your gimbal under warranty, then definitely go contact DJI and get it fixed because that's you know, it's gonna be free for you instead of not free like me. But for me, I had to spend, I think, $100 total after tax and stuff to replace the motors in the gimbal and I would definitely contact DJI if you can. And the reason I'm making this video is because I can't find a video about it. Someone had to have been able to figure it out, but I, I couldn't find a single video on it. If you guys could find a video on it, then I guess you're just better at searching on YouTube than I am. That was the fix. It was, it included money. So I'm sorry, it's not cheap, but it's cheap. It was cheaper than buying a new gimbal. So if your gimbal's not working, then it might be worth it to just send it in the DJI. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. If you guys wanna see a video on how I edit photos, a video on photo editing, then click on this one.